Hey, welcome back to the Begin Within Health Show. I'm your host, Nate Slager, and I've got a quick bonus episode for you today, which we have been rolling out on Tuesdays for you, and I thank you so much for the positive feedback I've gotten about these quick episodes. I really appreciate it, and so I will continue to do them. I thrive on the feedback from you. So please let me know what you think. Let me know if there is anything that I can cover in the future that you would appreciate. But I thank you very much for supporting me in some of these, I guess I I call them rants, right? I'm just sharing my thoughts, sharing my experiences, sharing my feelings on a topic. And hopefully it's enlightening for you because What I find is as I go through life, I'm looking at things through this lens of how can we make health, healthiness, healthy choices even easier. And so much of that has to do with habits. We know that we have habits that help us to be healthier. We have habits that maybe move us in the direction of being less healthy. So I want to share something with you today real quickly that has been on my mind because Amanda and I are going to be moving very shortly. And it's possible that by the time this rolls out, that we'll already have moved, but we're packing boxes. We're going to be picking up and we're going to uh, a new house, a different house, not a brand new house, right? We're moving into a different house. And for me, I start thinking about habits. I start thinking about changes that I want to make And of course, I'm always thinking about that, but what's exciting for me about living in a new place is that habits are very environmentally based, right? They um, occur based on our environment. And I don't know if you've noticed that before, but the place you're in, the situation, like the circumstances, the, the, the actual physical location sometimes can be that cue for a certain habit, whether it be one that helps us to be healthier or one that supports us in maybe being less healthy. And just to back this up, uh, the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, it's one that I talk about a lot, share that with my clients, and I've talked about it before on this podcast. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. But if you're anyone who's interested in learning about habits and how they're formed and how to actually shape them and create them, you probably have already read that book. If you haven't, go get it. Atomic Habits, James Clear. He says this in the book, your habits change depending on the room you are in and the cues in front of you. Environment is the invisible hand that shapes human behavior. So for me, I get very excited if I want to edit habits, if I want to change habits, I want to stop doing something and start doing something else. When my whole environment is going to be changing, the place where I live and work, the house is actually going to be different. Things are going to be laid out differently. And I have an opportunity, I realize in doing that, to start establishing some new habits to edit them because I'll be in a new environment. The the current environment where I spend most of my time is so familiar to me that my habits are so automated that I don't have to think about them, right? They just happen. And what's going to happen once we move is that I will be thinking constantly, where's this? What should I do next? How is this going to be laid out now? And it's going to give me an opportunity to edit habits to hopefully pick up some new healthier habits, as well as to take a look at some of the habits that are moving me in a less healthy direction, to now say, all right, how can I make sure that I don't allow that one to be reestablished now that it's in a highly editable situation because I'll be in a new environment. And what I want to encourage you to do is take a look at your, your life The circumstances that you're in when you're doing the things that you want to be doing in order to be healthier. 
or the times in your day and the circumstances you're in when you'd like to be doing those things that will move you in a healthier direction. But also look at the things that you're doing that you wish you could change that you know you'd like to edit so that you can stop moving yourself in a less healthy direction on a regular basis. Take a look at what you're doing in those situations. Take a look at physically where you are and what's going on around you in each of those situations. And in order for you to experience that kind of editable opportunity where habits are, they're kind of up for grabs. There's an opportunity to start a new one. There's an opportunity to stop an old one. It could be as simple as changing your environment. And I'm not saying you got to pick up and move into a different house like I'm doing. Just sit in a different spot on the on the couch, right? If at the end of the day you notice, hey, I'm doing some less healthy things as I'm as I'm watching Netflix and winding down at the end of the day. I'm not saying you got to change everything, but maybe just sitting on a different end of the couch is going to give you a new perspective and an opportunity now to to start doing something differently. And when you sit on that end of the couch, do it differently. You're going to be experiencing life from a different perspective. Just having changed where you're sitting, it's as simple as that. Or is there a different room where you could be in, where you could make sure that you're making healthier choices as you go? Think about ways that you can make simple changes to your environment so that you can give yourself an opportunity to be more intentional about the habits that you're allowing to influence the outcomes of your health and fitness. Are you in? Are you willing to do that? Just take a look at it and make a small change and see what happens. The research and the experts tell us that environment is a huge key to habits. Our habits depend on our environment. So just changing it just a little bit gives us a new perspective and an opportunity to make some edits. And that's why we're here. We're here to make changes. We're here to make improvement. We're here to continue to move in a healthier direction. Thanks so much for being here with me. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. At Nate Slager on social media. I'll talk with you again soon. Please keep taking good care of yourself. Talk to you next time.